King Edgy here, bringing you another Gen 1 video. And in this one, we are celebrating AMP's final match, representing U.S. Northeast um, in the Gen 1 World Cup of Randbats qualifying stages. This is pool play. So here we are against Sweet Sablet. We joined right at the start here, so a quick hypnosis off from Polyworld. I guess that's fine. I probably would have stayed in too and hoped to get a Thunder Wave off after the hypnosis miss. But now you figure, probably got to switch out. Hopefully we've got a water type. Well, at least we've got Ekans, and this is trouble now. Polyworld doesn't have Psychic, so we could go for the Glare, I guess, if we're scared about how fast it is. Nice. And now just a nice little Earthquake and a full Para after that crit. Dang. Unfortunate. But now we've got my choke. Boy, our team is looking pretty bad. Clefairy against Machoke to start. Although, I don't know. I might have chosen to let Ekans or Machoke get put to sleep. But it's always a tough call, you know, because 60% chance to miss. Or, sorry, to hit. Feels like 60% chance to miss with Hypnosis, but... We're loving it. And if you recognize Sweet Sablet, that's because uh, we took on Sablet when we played the Gen 1 uh, format last year. Feel free to check that out earlier in this playlist. Hopefully Amp did that and is uh, familiar with Sablet's game and is ready to roll. We gotta hope that we've got a ground type here. But we could just stick it out with Machoke. I think Drill Peck's a three hit KO, so we can go for a Body Slam or two. Try to get the Paralysis on Zapdos. If we have Rock Slide, that might be a two hit KO. Um, so we might actually win this, but we'll see. We'll see. I don't know if we have a Rock Ground type in the back. I don't know what's up. Yeah, there we go. Great. It's tough. I do like Machoke, though. Like, normal types are hard to deal with in Gen 1. Machoke can handle them with a submission, so... Gotta figure he doesn't have Rock Slide at this point. Um, I, if that was pretty smart from Sableette there, because if it's a crit, it knocks us out, and 10% chance to paralyze, right? So... Um, but I guess I am surprised that the agility didn't come out earlier. Because if that Thunderbolt did knock us out, then we just knock him out. Wow. Really? That's a surprising one for me. Because <laughs> I didn't think we had any water types based on what came out against Poliwhirl. And like, now I feel like we do have water types because we didn't want Zapdos. Maybe we have flying types in the back? Like, what could we have here? A Firo? U221? Yeah, so is Firo, I think. This could be unfortunate because Ninetales is fast, can confuse Reyes, can set up the sub now, but he's going to miss this Fire Blast, or it's not going to knock us out, right? We're going to wake up and paralyze him? Mm. Yeah, I'm... I, Oh, I'm so sorry. I've been playing too much Gen 9. Obviously, we can't <laughs> wake up and attack on the same turn in Gen 1. So here we, we finally reveal that we have a water type. It's Horsey. Horsey must not have double edge. That's my only conclusion based on the Poliwhirl skittishness, right? So Ninetales is going to go ahead and confuse us here. We're going to break the sub with a nice surf. Oh, I am very surprised that Sablet went for the Body Slam instead of the Confuse Ray. I guess at this point in the battle, you're just trying to get damage off because you are ahead by a Pokemon. Big Hydro. You gotta hope Starmie doesn't have both Bolt and Blizz. Because if he has Bolt and Blizz, we're in trouble. Um, but if he only has one... 
could maybe maneuver out of it. It's probably worth risking going into Eggy here because we're behind. Horsey can't do much to star me. It could try to like smokescreen, blizzard, freeze it. But if Horsey takes much more damage, Ninetales is going to be able to sweep. Obviously, we don't know our last yet, but that's a big concern. That's a big concern. Starmie could be Surf Blizzard though, and then we're then we're fine. We can just try to blind it with a smoke screen or freeze it or or something. I just hope I mean we're Surf Hydro, Blizzard, Agility, Smoke Screen? I don't know. Hmm. This is a tough one. Like I said, after seeing our first three, I was like, oof, our team is rough. We are just going for the freeze. Didn't get it there. But at this point, you just got to keep trying for the freeze, right? Oh, I guess not. Switch it on the recover. Do we survive a blizzard? I don't know, but we get a sleep powder off. That's fine. There's no reason to switch out Cubone here. Wow. I was just going to say, because Ninetales one shots the Eggy and two shots the Horsey, like there's no reason to switch out um, from that Cubone there. But Sableye did, and it has opened the door. Now, the fact that. Starmie didn't want to get put to sleep, right? Does it mean that it's Thunderbolt Surf and not Blizzard? Or does Blizzard just not get it from this range? And Horsey does really well against the rest of the team. Yeah, maybe Starmie's the only Horsey answer. Because as you look, right, Horsey's got Ninetales, Horsey's got Cubone. If his last is like, I was going to say Growlithe, but I think Growlithe is too fast. That was unfortunate there. I guess we went for either the special drop or the full para. Reasonable chance at both, right? 30% to drop that special. 25% um, to get the full para, so... Reasonable chances there. Oh, he does have the bolt. We do have the agility. We can freeze him solid. We freeze him, we win. Ah, uh, don't freeze him, yeah. Persians last. Gotta go body slam, I guess. Prevent the paralysis on us. Wow, there's still a chance. Slash this up. If his last is a fire type, which we've guessed that it might be, Persian could handle it. It's Mewtwo even better. Two slashes get Mewtwo, right? Well, Mewtwo might know Thunder Wave, though. Mm. I'm not sure if two slashes get Mewtwo, so I'm going to do a little damage calc here. Whoop. Mewtwo versus Ninetales uh, versus Persian. Slash, ooh, not really a good chance to two hit KO. So, but Slash and Hyper Beam? Mm, no, I don't know. Probably Body Slam here. And you're in that tough spot of like. Well, actually, if he's Amnesia, like Psychic Blizzard Recover. I think we're okay. Just going for a body slam here. Then we gotta hope that we uh, can beat this Cubone. Yeah, he did have the Thunder Wave. So it's unfortunate because once he amnesias, he'll be faster than us even if we're both paralyzed. Chooses not to amnesia there, which is amazing for us. Maybe he didn't have it. 
but now Slash knocks him out. Now it's also against Cubone, and it's Paralysis versus Sleep. Can we do it? Maybe the Bubble Beam here, if we have it? I think Persian always has it. A quarter of his speed is 60. I was just thinking if Bubble Beam got that speed drop, could we end up being faster? But no, not yet. All right. Wow, this is coming down. Coming right down to the wire here. As they might say in Pokemon Stadium. There's one speed drop. I think we need three speed drops to be faster. Yeah, I think so. Uh-oh. Crit? Speed drop. Neither. Need a crit or a speed drop here? Oh no, we only need a crit. Oh, unfortunate. Really unfortunate, that end game. But wow, what a game from Amp. Oh, look at Sableth's team. Mewtwo, Starmie, Zapdos, Ninetales, like, whew, and Poliwhirl, too. I mean, what a, what a team. That was a tough matchup, and Amp brought it right down to the last turn. Unbelievable. Yeah, looking back at it, I don't know what, what we could have done instead. I think letting um, Eggy go there was tough because it did well against Starmie, but then we walked out against the star. So, all right, on to game two, I suppose. Here we go, Ditto Spiro. Um, not uh, super great. I hate revealing Ditto early, but this is amazing. Ghosts and randoms, I love it. Now, Spiro is not faster than Gengar, great. So we could, I mean, we can take a drill pack, not super well, but we can take it. If you want to switch out into something that handles Thunderbolt well, we might still be faster and then be able to put it to sleep or, or do something nice like that. Oh, we just put the Spiro right to sleep, great. I'm just, I'm scared of using hypnosis, so I don't know. But that's amazing. I'd just go for a psychic here now. Um, because getting a special drop is just amazing. Um, and a lot of things resist Thunderbolt here. And Nightshade is also really great. Just consistent damage to anything that'll come out. Gotta switch out here. And it is kind of interesting. We could go Ditto here, let Ditto get paralyzed, and then transform. Oh, uh, we better double out here because Blizzard or Body Slam, both brutal. Unless we have a second ground type. If we have a second ground type, we can stay in an Earthquake. But if we don't, I think I think we got a double here. But that's why, that's why I thought Ditto was the right play, because if you're going to double here anyway, you're going to double into something else, it takes some damage instead of being paralyzed, then you can just paralyze it. Yeah. All right, so Ditto's here. Not an opportune time to transform, but still pretty good. Um, now we know whether or not this Slowpoke is Amnesia, <laughs> and, you know, could be Amnesia Rest, right? Uh, we know that for sure now. We get to Paralyze it, though, which is great. If it Amnesias one more time, then, um, it won't be able to be faster than anything else even after it rests up, so... Oh, and a great rest with no damage done to the Slowpoke. Yeah, really good, because now the next time we use Amnesia, we'll be faster than him. For sure. Oh, but he's paralyzed us twice now, so maybe we won't. Maybe, we, maybe we're speed tied again. One more Amnesia will make us faster. 
but I, I don't really know what the play is now. I could kind of have to sacrifice the ditto. I guess the play is like come in once Sableth Slowpoke has gone to sleep with your Razor Leaf user. And PP Depletion is like not a great strat because he has Thunder Wave and he's paralyzed. Like you can just. Right, and he has amnesia, like he, he can just kind of hold out. And basically now you're like hoping for a crit. A crit from this range would knock him out. Oh, I'm so sorry. This is Gen 1. Crits negate the <laughs> stat boost, so definitely not. So he does rest there. Time to switch out, I guess. I don't know. If you've got something that can explode. You can paralyze him again, I guess. I don't, I don't know what the play is because Right, you're ditto, so you've only got 5 PP of each move, so you're going to run out pretty soon. Was that your last surf? Yep. Oh, Shelter with the explosion. All right, this is a fine play. And now if Slowpoke switch, it's it's tough decision for Slowpoke, but I probably just stay in a double edge. Or Blizzard. Try to catch a freeze. Nice, really good call there, Amp. The reason I was thinking double edge is I didn't think Slowpoke was going to switch out that turn. I thought the explosion play was was too obvious. Um, so Slowpoke would stay in and Thunder Wave us. But, but Shelter doesn't care about this Machamp. Yeah. I would have probably gone Surf there. Just because it does a little more than Blizzard. And like the freeze isn't super likely, so might as well go for the accuracy. Probably surf again here. Although Dragonair could come out, so Blizzard might be the better move in this instance. Hmm. I'm pr probably still going to go surf. Could go double edge, could like totally mix it up. No, but he does do the Blizzard play. Dragoner comes out and knows Thunderbolt. It can just knock us out. I think we go Ditto. I think we go Ditto, quick transform. Hope to outspeed the Dragonair. And get him with a Blizzard. And stellar play from Amp so far. I was really worried about that Slowpoke, but he had the answer. Yep, here comes Ditto. Eats up that Thunderbolt. You could really hard predict the Slowpoke coming back out here and doubling out into Shelter. Hmm. Unfortunate. I'm just going to go Shelter immediately here now. Yeah, and that's why like the predict to Shelter didn't matter too much. From this range, I don't know that Slowpoke Surf gets us again. We didn't explode last time. If Shelter's our only answer for Slowpoke, then might want to save it, but Amp making the right call again. And now this one feels good. We're hopeful that Spiro was it. Sable that's fastest and um, oh, and we've got a psychic type. Love it. Love that drowsy. Let's see what it can do here. I'm just gonna click psychic. I think um, like paralyzing the dragoner is fine, but like it's still faster than us. So one psychic puts it in range for. Anything, yeah.
Oof. Oh, tough. Tough moves there. Spirit goes for the drill pack. We're still fully paralyzed. Really, really unfortunate now. Um, I was going to suggest going back to the Jido. I thought Drowsy was more valuable than it, but... If Spiro Agilities, then it's faster than oof, Gengar. If we Agilities now, and we transform into it, we copy its speed, like overriding the Paralysis, and can get a ton of damage off of the Double Edge, maybe. It's kind of the hope here. Relying on Ditto Mechanics. Alright. Alright. A lot of damage with this Double Edge. Please win the Speed Tie. We lose the Speed Tie. <laughs> now now things are tough. Now things are tough. Yeah, I think Drowsy should have just been clicking Psychic that whole time. Um, oh, okay. Slow, bro. Things are not as, as dire as they just appeared. We can get a nice little Thunder Wave off. Like Spiro will still do a chunk of damage to us because it's level 89. It's got pretty solid attack, but um, and we could Amnesia here with no fear and hopefully just knock it out maybe with a Blizzard or even a Surf. Nope. Mm. Now things are less good. We could Amnesia again here. I think that's the play. Quick Amnesia. Drill Peck doesn't knock us out. So we could also switch to Gengar on the double edge. Yep. There we go. Now he's got a drill pack, and we get to Nightshade so that we don't reveal any new moves. And now we hope that our team's just faster, right? We hope that we get to put some things to sleep for free. That Slowbro will be able to rest up. Not a lot of physical attackers will get Slowbro from that range, but... Some of them certainly will. Man, what a good predict from Amp on the on that double edge. We called it out right before it happened, but I thought Sablette might... Go. It, it was so risky, because if Sablette went for the drill pack there, it two-shots the Gengar, and then you're in so much trouble, because I think it two-shots everything, so you wouldn't be able to switch back out. I wonder if Sablet considered that. Yeah, I'm not sure. But it does kind of feel like at this point we are the fastest thing out there and can put something to sleep for free. That would be really amazing. Oh, that would be so amazing. I really hope that's true. Because again, Amp has just been playing the set so well. Bad matchup in the first one, didn't care. Took it down to the last turn. Full para versus sleep. This one too. Set up Mon, set up Mon. No fear. Amp just plays it, makes the right read, picks the right turn to explode. Picks the right turn to transform. We hit Hypnosis again. Amazing. Again, if we have Psychic, I'm going for it. Persian. Trio faster than you? Yup. So Persian probably has to go for Thunder here. Or Thunderbolt or something. If we have Explosion, I think we consider it, but... Oh, nice crit. Oh, that's really good. He didn't have Thunder, so we, we're not too shottable unless he gets a crit with this Thunderbolt. And the fact that he went Persian. Oh, he got the crit, but he didn't choose Thunderbolt. I was going to say, the fact he went Persian makes me think his last isn't good against Gengar, but it is pretty good. If we have Explosion, we just click Explosion, because then he can't set up. Awesome double there. Really, really good. Um, 
Oh, we have sub. I think that just saved us. Well, Twin Needle plus Hyper Beam might knock us out. Maybe not. But I think we just go EQ. If either of them crits, we get him. But now it's really hard for him to set up. Like, he could Sword Stance into Twin Needle, but... I just don't know if Hyper Beam will get to Trio right now. If it... It doesn't, then we win with no crit from him. We get it. I guess he could go agility here, and that would be the concern is if he goes agility. Mm, but it still wouldn't be too bad. He'd still need a crit. And he misses, and we get game two. The thing that's tough, right, is like, you just forfeit it, which is fine because you're probably not gonna win there, but also like it's gen one. The the ability to miss hundred percent moves exists, so you gotta stick it out. If Beedrill gets a crit on Doug Trio, I think it one shots Slowbro. Mm, probably doesn't one shot Drowsy, but but it'd be close. Alright, into game three. And we are unfortunately slower than his sleeper to start. So I'll be curious to see what Amp decides to do here because you've got Fire Blast, you've got Sludge, you've got Explosion, probably Thunderbolt. Like Coughing covers a lot and is really nice and defensive and handles the Bell Sprout beautifully. So, like, you let something else get put to sleep and then switch back into coughing, which would be, which would just wall the bell spare pretty hard. Um, but in game one, Amp just let Clefairy get put to sleep. I think I think he might choose to just let coughing get put to sleep here and, and see what happens. Oof. Tell you what, though, I'm amped up. Such a such a good set from Amp so far. Yeah, that's kind of what we thought might happen from Amp. Just stay in and, and let coughing get put to sleep. Because again, coughing gets hard walled by a rock ground type, right? So if Sablet has one, are we faster than him? Yeah, we are. Now we strike back by putting him to sleep. Oh, he woke up. <laughs> Just a replay of what's going on. If I'm Amp, I'm clicking Stun Spore here. That's what he did in game one to catch the Nine Tails and save what, uh, let it happen. Ah, uh, unfortunate. So, could go for it again. Could go for it again. We do, we get it. He gets us. Do we know Double Edge or Mega Drain? I don't know. Doesn't matter. Magnemite's amazing. It's still two shots of Slowbro after the Amnesia. So I don't think Slowbro can stay in. If it does, all it gets to do is paralyze Magnemite. And Amp might be thinking there's no rock ground type because if there were, Sablet might have uh, used it to handle the coughing and save the sleep for something else. So I think Sablet has to switch out here. With no rock ground type, based on our analysis, the switch in would be Bell Sprout, or if he has another grass type. But we're already asleep, so Parasect can't do a ton to us, right? It's just gonna have to body slam. Uh, and maybe it's Swords Dance, but we'll just click Psychic here. I mean, there's no need to predict anything. Yeah, no need to predict anything. Like I say, clicking Psychic is always great because of that 30% chance to drop your special. It might even be a 33% chance to drop the special. I don't remember if it's 1 in 3 or, or just 30. Um, oh, well. Amp making the right play again. Picking the critical hit over the regular hit. That was a smart, smart play by Amp right there. Moving us along. 
The fact that that double edge did 51 means another one will KO, but crit, it's fine. Magnemite does KO Parasect from this range here, and we wouldn't have to reveal anything new, and we'd prevent Slowbro from coming back out. I don't think we really care about preventing Slowbro from coming back out, though, because the switch to Magnemite is so good, because Magnemite will one-shot. Um, so I'd be okay going out to something new here, revealing something else. But going Magnemite's also totally fine. Say Black can now try to sack Bellsprout, and maybe this is a call as like we have another sleeper in the back, so go Magnemite, let the Bellsprout come out, knock it out over four turns. We are faster. Yep. So four turn KO, maybe a five turn KO. Nope. But Say Black uh, stays in. Got Eevee here. Um, we can go coughing, honestly. It, it handles AV decently well. Ooh, I, I didn't love risking the paralysis, but I don't know what we have in the back. Yeah, okay. There we go. There we go. Because now, if Sableye goes out into Slowbro, we're in good shape, but we get three turns to try to wake up here. Um, and we wake up, there we go. Mewtwo's here. Uh, we gotta switch out. He'll probably Amnesia, but we can't risk it. I think he two shots Magnemite. Mm, maybe not, actually. Might be pretty close. If we get Mewtwo paralyzed, then, um, like, he's only got one non-status Pokemon, and we might be in good shape here. And saying he, the sprite is Claire, right? Should I be saying she? I don't, I don't know. I've never met Save What. If I'm using the wrong pronoun, I apologize. But let's go, Amp. I think the, like I said, I think Amp does have to switch out. But I also think that the amnesia is coming. Um, I guess I'm wondering, like, do we have anything faster than Mewtwo? Faster that can status Mewtwo. And we can check the calculator here to see if Mewtwo um, does handle the Magnemite. No, even at plus two, it wouldn't do. Um, it wouldn't do as much as we have. 64, yeah. So we could go out Magnemite here. Um, assuming that neither our special drops nor does he get a crit, which, you know, decent chance of that happening. So a little risky. Oh, say what? Just goes straight for the psychic. Okay. Now less risky to go Magnemite, right? Uh, and we could, I, I think we just click Thunderbolt. I, I, I gotta feel like Eevee's coming out here. And if we click Thunderbolt and he goes Amnesia, that's totally fine, because then we Thunder Wave next turn. But I think you just got a quick Thunderbolt here. It's really interesting to me that Magnemite came out here, though. Makes me feel like we have something in the back to handle Slowbro. Um, I'm okay T-Waving now, because he has to recover. And now switching out. I think, because the amnesia is scary. Um, makes him handle our thunderbolts really well. So I think the switch out's the right play. Plus, we don't know if he's amnesia. He could be blizzard. So we switch out to a physical attacker here, like our Wigglytuff or whatever we have in the back, and hope that we can handle him. Be nice if we had an EV in the back. I'd like that. Shelder. <laughs> Shelder's back, baby. Um, does plus two psychic knock out Shelder? I don't think so either. Not from full health. It, it'll be close. Not that close, no. So I don't explode here either. 
I just don't do it. It's it's so tough, right? Because you want to do it. Sableette has every reason to keep Mewtwo in now that it's at plus two. It could be hard to set it up again. But, there's always a but. If we go for double edge here or surf here and he decides to paralyze us, we can explode next turn. If he decides to psychic us, we can explode next turn. Alright, we exploded this turn. I guess that's okay. Oh good, we are faster than Dugong. Um, Slowbro could come out here. Yeah, really, really too bad there. If we'd gone Surfer Double Edge and then exploded, would have knocked out the Dugong, but it's also very possible that um, he was baiting the explosion for Dugong and would have switched out to Bellsprout or something else. Um, I think Surf might get Dugong from this range, but yeah, Double Edge safe. Uh, yeah, Slowbro is a great choice here. I think it's just going to click Amnesia. Um, so I might just stay in and double edge. I don't know. I don't know who our last is, but <laughs> it's got a tall order. Ooh, really, really, really good information. Amazing. Oh, good drop. It was such good information because um, now we know he can't rest up. We're not as worried about him. Bellsprout comes up. Sand true. Nice. I was going to say time to set up. It's still time to set up, baby. Swords Dance, Earthquake, two shots Eevee, one shots everything else. So really tempting here, but if we get paralyzed... We need Sandshrew to be unparalyzed to finish off the Mewtwo. So, come back with Goldeen, I think. Nope, just gonna risk it. The Sand Attack is too real, man. We need two Earthquakes still on the Eevee. And then we need to switch out to reset that accuracy. The Eevee is our biggest problem, though, because um, Sandshrew handles the Mewtwo, and with Slowbro being paralyzed, Magnemite handles it as well. We are speed tied with the Bellsprout, too, so worst case scenario, if it wakes up, we can hope to win a speed tie. But I do think we have to, yeah, just EQ here, good full paralysis. And once we click that EQ last turn, it means to me that Amp's just going to click EQ every turn. Sableye can't switch out. Whoa, it did one-shot the Eevee? Now that I don't believe. I'm switching out to Goldeen here. Um, every time. Double, and then just clicking double edge. Whoa. I am shocked that Magnemite came out there. I'm shocked that Magnemite came out there instead of Goldeen. I don't know, I guess I just thought Slowbro was going to click Amnesia. Then it would be faster than Magnemite. No, but I guess he kind of had to click Surf, right? Kind of had to to stop it. But, like, if we went... If we'd gone Goldeen, just a few double edges, and I gets paralyzed. No, well, maybe this was the right play. I think that might be GG. I'm going to have to check the calc on the Sandshrew Eevee roll. But I think that might be GG. Sand Shrew. Definitely takes care of the Mewtwo. Definitely takes care of the Slowbro. 
Oh, not definitely. Seventy one to eighty three, so we got a good roll. Really good roll. And there it is. US Northeast. Let's go amp. If you've been following along with us, you know that we're actually sitting pretty in the standings right now, and so hopefully we will make it to the next round. We'll see. We've got a couple days left of play, and then um, if we're in top eight, we're good. Amp. Just unbeatable. What a guy. I think he went four and one for Gen 1, so putting us to shame from last year, much better than we did. Um, shout out to our manager, Za, for making sure that we were in the optimal spots to do super well. But uh, that's it. The end of the qualifying matches for us. We'll wait a couple days for every other team to finish up, and then we'll see where we are. Hopefully we make top eight, and then I'll see you there. So thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.